After losing for the first time in the Europa Conference League group stage against CFR Kludge, we played against Winterthur in the uh, Super League matchup, and uh, we had a 1-1 draw. Should have been a 1-0 victory, but they scored off the biggest bullshit goal I have ever seen. <laughs> Unreal. I don't know how it wasn't a penalty. I don't know how we didn't save it. I just don't know what the fuck happened there. Brutal. Brutal way to lose out on three points, but at least we get a point out of it. And then we get the rematch against CFR Kludge, and this time around, we killed them. We won 4-0. Domination. Wasn't even close. Uh, and that was nice to see, so we qualify to the knockout stage with that victory, and we actually will be the number one team out of our group. So that's nice. So that's a little feather in the cap for us. Next game is against St. Gallen at home, and I don't know what it is with St. Gallen this year, but we just can't figure them out. We got killed. 1-3. I am very, very surprised with that score. Uh, you see there at the XG, they had one XG, only had four shots on target, and they made three of them. So just uh, super efficient they were. And, uh, you know, as far as we had 15 shots, five on target. We had more possession. Uh, you know, as far as our pass completion was about the same. I thought we were going to get a goal after no Ohio scored at the end of the game. I thought we were going to get another one to make at least make it 2-3, but uh, we just ran out of time, unfortunately. Yeah, that was just brutal. Uh, you know, absolutely brutal way to get not only destroyed like that, but lose at home like that. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Uh, yeah, St. Gallen's super tough this year. You know, we lost to them uh, the first time around in the season. I want to say that was uh, a 1-0 defeat. Uh, to St. Gallen, but uh, at least, you know, we have something to look forward to if we see them in the, uh, as far as down the road. We can get some revenge, hopefully. The uh, next game is against Zurich. We were on the road. Uh, Zurich at this time was the number one team in the Super League, and we killed them, mainly because they got a red card. Uh, basically, right after the red card, the onslaught started, but they did get a goal. I am very, very disappointed they actually got a goal, since they only had one shot on target. Of course, that one shot goes in, but yeah, we, uh, Obviously, you see the match momentum. Literally, we dominated the game. Like, you know, as far as you know how we can dominate possession. And it is super tough to stop us when you only have 10 guys out there instead of 11. And that was definitely a uh, a great day for us. Because we scored off of two set pieces as well. So that was nice to see. Amenda got a goal. Lud Jensen got another goal. He's got like seven goals on the year. It's kind of crazy uh, how well he's done. But 11 shots on target. We probably should have scored at least six goals. If I have to be honest there, we definitely should have scored more, but we'll take the 3-1 victory against Zurich. And uh, then, you know, as far as, so the next game doesn't really matter, uh, because, you know, it was another, it was basically the second leg of another Conference League group stage game, which we won 3-0 in that as well. Uh, so the original plan was to showcase the Grasshoppers game coming up. But, Servette is the game before that, and Servette right now are the number one team in the Super League, and I think this would be a better matchup because the Grasshoppers have not won a Super League game in about three months. They are at the bottom of the table. I'm not sure what the fuck's going on over there, but it's not working out. We lost to them at the beginning of the year, but that was also before we switched to what we are using now. If I had to guess, we're probably going to kill them, and I think this would be a lot more of an exciting matchup. I think it's going to be pretty close. Uh, they like to control possession, Servette, so... Should be a, a pretty back-and-forth affair. Alright, so I know I did say that Servette was the number one team. Uh, yes, now St. Gallen does have the higher goal difference since they played the extra game. But St. Gallen also today, or no, I think it's next week actually, uh, they play Basel. So they'll probably lose that matchup as well. So this is a great chance for us to jump up to 25th. You know, we got to finish in the top four this year if we want to qualify Obviously, number one would be great to be in the Champions League right off the rip, but second would be tremendous as well. But we need to be third or fourth if we want to get you know back into the Europa Conference League again. Uh, I w I'll take anything at this rate, but a top four finish is kind of a must for us. Right now with our goal difference, I think we're in a really good spot to be in the top four. I think Basel, shockingly, has not uh, done as well as they probably should. But obviously with one win over St. Gallen, they're the top team again. So there is that. Uh, but yeah, we got a, a, a big game against Servette here. This is massive. Uh, funny enough, we don't have a complete bench to what I would have liked. Our bench is a little bit on the uh, short side. Or maybe not short side, but maybe not the names that I would hope to be on the bench. Because there was a 
I, as far as an under-21 game on the same day. So some of these guys, I, like I was going to have Tadeo out there as a you know guy on the bench, and same thing for Moreno. But uh, as far as they're not going to be involved in today's game, but that's fine though. It's not a huge deal. Uh, yeah, we're again, we're still doing the 5-2-1-2. Two, two. It's just been working so well with this gang and press. Yeah, just as far as, as long as we uh, keep hanging in there. The morale's great. Uh, as far as shapeness is pretty much on brand. We should be good to go. Uh, as far as for this game, oof, locker room's not really feeling the roster, which that's fine. It's not a huge deal. I'm always terrified not having a goalkeeper on the bench because uh, needing a keeper, if, somebody, if something goes down, like if Noel gets hurt, we are fucked. But it is what it is. As uh, Yeah, I mean, I think we are the better team. I don't know why uh, they were trying to have us be uh, on defensive because I really do think we, we are the better team. I expect a win. Uh, I was hoping that would motivate the boys. really didn't. But yeah, as long as we get that first goal, too, I, that should be important. Uh, I wouldn't say... Uh, yeah, we're worth three episode. Are we? Yes, we are rolling. Absolutely rolling. But they have won their last two. Had two draws as well. That might also be, you know, as far as uh, the Schweizer Cup matchup. That could also be, you know, as far as... Uh, I don't think they're in the Europa Conference League, though, so we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, St. Gallen. I mean, on a tear. Absolute tear. So I'm glad I don't... I don't feel so bad that we kept on losing to them, but obviously if we would have got, you know, as far as a draw instead, uh, this would have been great. And also, yeah, St. Gallen played Zurich earlier today is why they are the number one team I see now. And yeah, so we'll see how uh, Lausanne FC... And Zion do. So that's a you know pretty important matchup. Zion is, I believe, in the top four. From what I remember, oh god, I thought Oscar was going to be able to hang on to it, and they are countering already. As I was thinking, ahead, let's go look at the table again. Yeah, Zion's third. So we do kind of have to hope for a uh, Lazan uh, upset there. That's fine by me. They are really pushing the ball down the pitch, though, on this uh, left-hand side. Looking for probably a cross, if I had to guess. Oh, wow, kicking it back. Goddamn, out of nowhere. Did uh, Fatwa show up, which is great. Fatwa leads the Super League in assists. Which I did not see coming. He's got eight. Uh, the guy that's in second has, like, four, so he's... Running away with it. Oh, boy. They really dissected us, though. This is a great chance for them. But we have the size to clear that. Oh, God. Guess it wasn't a great clearance. And it's heading over thanks to a block from Mark. Way to go, Mark. Man. Uh, just brutal. <laughs> Absolutely brutal uh, start for us. Servette with a tremendous, tremendous game plan. 15 for 15 on their passes. They are locked in. Let's see what Fatawa can do with this. That's a fucking penalty. Yeah. Get my red card. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, we don't get nothing out of it. So we'll see how we uh, do as far as... Oh, here comes the physio. Looks like Oscar's down. Looking to play through it. We'll make that change at the half if we can. Because I don't want to have Oscar be... As far as I don't want him getting even more injured. Don't want him aggravating that injury. Boy, what a slow 15 minutes, though, after uh, the blatant push in the box. No highlights since then. And here I was thinking it was going to be a pretty competitive matchup. But we are dominating possession, though, so that's nice. Oh, boy. I don't like these passes. There we go. Speed it up a little bit. If Phillips to Mbamba. Bamba's got a chance for Amenda. Could get it back to a, to Mbamba, but he's going to go to Mark, which I don't mind that at all. Oscar, if he wins this header, I was hoping he'd give it to one of the forwards instead, but A for effort, I guess. Mainly because I don't want to waste a stoppage on Oscar as far as to sub him off so early on in the game. And plus, he just saw right there, he, he won the header, so he's doing pretty well. 
I don't know if the bounce approach has been great. I don't know if we should maybe turn it up a little bit, go with a positive approach. Kind of want to just see what happens. Well, oh, God. Yeah, that was a little scary. A little scary Terry there. That was, uh... That could have been real bad. Let's see what Harold's going to do with this. Sending it deep to Noah Ohio, who is got his man beat. Oh, the keeper's sleeping. Good chance. Ah! Fuck. That was a great pass, though, by Harold. That was, that was tremendous. Yeah, let's go with a positive approach. I'm feeling it. Feeling great. Feeling great. And now immediately they're going to score. <laughs> that's that's how this thing goes here. Is, oh, they're going to keep on working that right side. They should have. They absolutely should have. That has been there all day. Of course, we don't really have anybody on the outside there. I mean, our, our wingbacks are there, but they're kind of more in that kind of pocket there instead of right in the uh, corner where the, uh, or the sides of the box, if you will. The corner of that pitch as, uh, let's see what Ohio's got. Gonna be an interesting one. I'd hope he pass it at this rate. Yep, swing it, swing it. There we go. Good chance, good block. We'll take the corner. At, uh, that was a good chance. That was a good chance. Like it, like it a lot. We're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. I mean, Ohio probably should have got the one goal in, but I'm not too perturbed on it. He, he's been getting a lot of good chances so far. Which is great, because Malik's, uh, he got injured, I want to say it was two games ago, and he's out for about a couple of weeks, so we won't have him for uh, any of the rest of the games this month, which sucks, but, uh, you know, as far as that's why we have such a deep roster, oh, God, yep, oh, Jesus, 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 went, went it back, oh, God, thank God. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous play there. At least Phillips kind of slowed him down, even though he had a shitty pass to cause all that. I'm feeling very confident about our defense along these corners. Yeah, Lutjensen clears the way, and Oscar's going to swing that down. We'll probably be the half, and it'll probably be nil-nil if I have to guess. The way this game's going, it's pretty back and forth as far as each team's getting a good chance, but not a great chance. I still think we've had the best chance of the game. Yeah, so they would have took that shot a little bit more inside the box. They probably would have scored, but... Thank God they didn't, for our sake. Mark's doing a great job here, though. Got a good feel. Oh, I don't like this pass, though. Boy, our... I don't know how that worked out, but Fatwa's probably off. Guess he's not, but Ohio hits the woodwork. Yeah, he's off, I figured so. Figured so, but that was a good pass to uh, set him up, though. No Ohio's got to put that in the back of the net, though. They're right there in front. Great chance. Just, uh, just missed it, though. The heat map's looking good. The match momentum is looking very, very good. Obviously, they had that great chance right at the beginning of the game. Other than that, it has been all BSC Young Boys. And, uh, yeah, I mean, as far as what we're going to do at the half, we will probably take Oscar off. Not sure who else. We should probably take somebody else off. I really don't want to have it be in Bamba, but that's... Probably our best case scenario. So we'll probably do that. We'll have Chipperfield come on. We might have Muzamba. Play his attacking midfielder, actually, because I know he's actually pretty good at that. Uh, Ch uh, Chipperfield. So uh, we used to have this be a roaming playmaker, but since I'm not, a, not a whole lot of people can play that, I figured this uh, registers a good... Ch like It's basically a deep-lying playmaker, but it's more for possession-oriented systems, which... We kind of do have a possession-oriented system, so that kind of works out for us. But, yeah, we'll see how he does. We'll keep Ohio on for a little bit longer. I really want to sub off Noah Bamba, but he is our best player on the pitch now since Oscar's off. So, yeah, we'll just have one sub. One sub at the half. That's fine by me. Not a whole lot of shots uh, for both teams. Only four for each. And doing a good job of controlling possession. That's fine by me. Keeps us in the top of the table as far as being able to dominate possession. Means we're not going to get killed. Usually. That has happened, though. The Logano game. God, I'm, I mean, I've had to look back at that stats. And we only had one shot on target that whole game. We lost 3-1. to one. Damn. I thought Ohio had a really good chance. 
the way they are uh, working the ball out wide, I'm very, very scared they're going to get one of these to work. It's all it takes is one. I'm seeing a whole lot of yellow, though, on the defensive side of the pitch, which is great. But we got to get a little bit more aggressive out there, though. I'm not really liking that, that we're letting these guys kind of dribble and pass everywhere. We should be attacking the ball. It's just not really happening. Which is, I guess, you know, we don't want to get any yellows, I guess. But still, this is the game we should probably be going for broke for. Interesting pass. Mbama looks like he's got it, but immediately loses it. Yeah, uh, we'll probably take Zombo and Noah Mbamba off. Maybe even Mark off. As are, you know, for subs two and three. And Noel doesn't get all of it for the save. God damn it. Brutal. 25 yards out, all he's got to do is hang on to it. He just kind of taps it. Gets in the corner. Unreal. Well, that's a terrible start. I mean, those shots from outside the box like that, it's, it, they're such a pain to deal with. Because he stops it initially, but he doesn't put two hands on it. Well, we'll probably go attacking, to be honest. And now we've dropped outside the top four. We're at six now. Great. I really don't know what they've really changed. They got a Mazal, they got a Target Ford. They're still doing this 4 3 3, so I'm really not sure what they changed to really up the uh, shots and on target percentage, but they have been doing their part. Yes, now we'll switch. Let's have Dion come on. Let's have Jean Ingethen. Thinking maybe Lud Jensen or Ashley Phillips coming off here. Oh, man, we don't even have a striker out there. Eh? We just have, uh... Yeah, let's take Leon on, and we'll save that last up in case somebody gets hurt. I got a good feeling, though. I know it's not looking too hot as far as with our one shot on target. But I'm, uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, Phillips is... Uh, he's a yellow card away from being suspended. That's fine. We have enough defenders to make that work. Really hoping No Ohio really gives us a great opportunity here. Because we really fucked up by not having somebody out there that's a striker as on the bench. Let's see what we get for the chipper field back to a Jensen to Harold. Harold had a great pass earlier to a No Ohio, so maybe he'll Get one here as well. Dribbling down the the line here. Looking good. We got a good chance. To Chipperfield. Back to Harold. Interesting pass. Dion wins it. Oh, come on, guessing. Take a good shot. Ah. Fuck. That was a good chance. I don't know why Ingessen kind of was had his back turned to the goal. Because if he was facing the goal, that shit would have went in. Now the question here. Do we turn it up to very attacking here at the final 10 minutes to try and steal one? As Bellatelli scores for Zion. Wow, he missed the penalty too earlier. Wow, could have been 2-0. Oh, no, we're, we're going to score off this free kick. Phillips with the header. Oh, it's the crossbar. God damn it. Come on, Ohio. Steal it. Oh, thought that was going to keep possession, though. Damn it. Thought that was it. That's a terrible pass. And we lose possession. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, we're getting closer. Let's fire up the team here. Fire it up. Hey, yeah, Lundgren's kind of playing like shit. He might have get subbed off, actually. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do for this last sub. Just in case we get beat deep. We'll have Sonny come on. Alright. Come on, Leon. Good pass here. Be the super sub of the day. It's going to be tight, though. Holy shit, he went for it, though. That was actually an incredible pass. Um, yeah, it just sucks that it didn't go through, but what a cross. We just uh, 
Can dial in. Oh, look at Lazan. They score. 1-1. One, one. The table still stays. Oh, they're 2-1 now. Jesus Christ. What a game for them. That should shake the table up a little bit. We probably won't see it, but... Oh, God. Every... Oh, boy, Ashley Phillips. Yes, say for the last... I won't do 10 minutes. I'll do 5 minutes. Well, that's 2-1. Or 2-0. Just great. I don't think he's off. If he is, God bless us. But if he is, <laughs> if it's not, we're fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. Yep, yeah, that's not what we need. What a pass. Again, just, uh, just a great ball here. Times it up perfectly. And uh, Noel gets beat far post. Our one shot on target is uh, absolutely killing us. That's for sure. The old 4 3 3, though. You know, as far as that, uh, that killed us for sure. They got fullbacks. Dance playmaker to inverted winger. It's kind of crazy. I feel like, uh, yeah, because they scored off a box to box midfielder and then they scored with, uh, I don't even know what the, the second person, uh, not sure exactly what it was. No, Ohio, though. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. Well, that shows you how, what type of game this was. Easy chance. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Doesn't go in. Look at their, look at our shot map. <laughs> the amount of saves, the amount of blocks, the amount of hitting the post that we had right here in the middle of the penalty area to theirs. Where they had a goal from way down down. And this goal as well. Off of a great cross. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. We had a higher XG. <laughs> Even with our one shot on target. I can't believe it. Really can't believe it. But yeah. Uh, just uh, as far as, you know, do we go back to the drawing board? I don't think so. We are just getting kind of screwed over with some of these games. The only really one game from this season that I've been like, yeah, we deserve that loss was the Logano game. Every other loss... We've had better chances. We've had more possession. We've had higher XG. This one, at least, we didn't have as many on-target shots, but even so, no Ohio had at least two chances to put one in the back of the net, and he missed the goal both times. You know, Ashley Phillips hit the header, but it just hit the crossbar instead, and it just wasn't our night. It was not our night, but at least we're still in the top six. It's not over. You know, it's disappointing, I would say, more than anything. Frustrating. But, uh, you know, as far as, we'll be back. We will be back. Yeah. Can't fault him. We had our chances. We just could not put it in the back of the net. So, yeah. Because, I mean, if we win the next game, we're right back up there in third. So, you know, as far as, depending on what happens with the Basel game as well. Basel and uh, St. Gallen. But we need to be in the top four. That is for sure. This, uh, I mean, Super League this year is pretty tough. It's not like last year, but Basel just kind of ran away with it. It felt, felt like last year, by the time we were even in December, it was like, all right, Basel's going to win the league. Now, sure, they have a great goal difference, but I really do not see how... I mean, it's going to come down to St. Gown, it's going to come down to Savet, and it's going to come down to us, I really do believe, still. And I think it's going to come down to Basel as well. Zion, they keep on getting killed. I'm not sure what's going on with them, but uh, yeah, I think that's probably the top teams. At least we get a chance to beat Logano again, so that'll be, or get our chance at revenge against Logano, rather. Hopefully, we beat the Grasshoppers. Next time you see us, we'll probably be this Basel game, because I'm, I mean, anytime we play Basel, it's a big-time game, and we want to showcase those games for sure, but it uh, sucks that we don't play anybody else that's in, like, the top level besides Zion and Basel, so really, it's up to the other teams as far as how we're going to place in the uh, Super League. But it's close. It is absolutely close. I, I can't really stress it enough. I mean, it's an eight-point difference between first and seventh. Pretty shocking how close it is. Uh, but yeah, and, and Basel, they only have uh, played in 13 matches as well. So they have a 
great opportunity to jump up to at least second. So that'll drop us up down to seventh. So that's going to be just great. Well, at least our board exception is just to, uh, our expectation rather, is to uh, fight bravely against relegation, which we should be fine on that. But the main focus, though, for this season, I would say, is this Europa Conference League. Because now we're in the knockout stage. We'll see how we draw, because we have one more knockout, or one more group game that you saw against uh, Bait here, which that should be an easy win. But that's easier said than done. I, I've said that in the past, and we've blown games. But we, you know, we've already qualified, so it's no big deal. We'll probably play a lot, a lot of bench guys in that one. So that should be fun. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.